guys, it's Shannon and I am in my new workshop, which is a mess. Let me give you a look. So if you missed my video, we moved and we went from a one car garage to a two car garage, which gives us a lot more room. However, we are still in moving mode. So that is craziness. And this is my attempt at trying to still be productive while we're moving. So I have the basics that I need to create some things. And I thought today I would start off with a very simple project. And that is a barn wood picture frame. And with the holidays coming up, not only would it be super cute for home decor, but also to make as gifts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your own, but then the ones that I make, I'm going to throw up in my Etsy shop as well. They will all be one of a kind. So, there will be one of each available and when they're gone, they're gone. So if you don't wanna make one and you'd like to purchase one, you will have that option. This is authentic barnwood. So one of a kind, you're not gonna find anywhere else. One of a kind gift. And it's really easy to make. Try it with your own barnwood or with pallet wood even, any kind of free claimed wood. So let's get started. So here is my beautiful piece of authentic barn wood and it is gorgeous. Now it's not necessarily the best piece of wood to be building with. However, for this project, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up because obviously it's gonna have a lot of dirt and things on it. And then I'm going to cut it down and show you how to make some cute one of a kind picture frames. my barn wood cut. I also cut some one by twos down for the back. They will be the support that will hold them up on the back. Um, and then I'm just gonna use my nail gun with one and a quarter inch brad nails to affix the stands onto the back. dirt and dust off and then I'm going to just clear coat it with a clear matte spray. Alright so now that I brought them inside they're all dry all I'm gonna do is take some jute this is two ply jute and I'm just gonna wrap the bottoms all the way around several times. That way you can simply stick a picture or a recipe card or Christmas card or anything special that you want. You can kind of tuck it down into the jute and it'll hold it up for you.
I love the barn wood on this, but it's just a little bit too simplistic. And with this flat top, instead of having like the, the natural edges of the barn wood where I cut it, I feel like it just needs a little something. So I'm going to add a jute bow here, like I did this one here. So I thought I'd give you a little quick tutorial on how to make a jute bow because it's really easy and it's kind of an easy way to add a little extra interest to a piece. So I just have my jute, I'm gonna leave a tail and I'm gonna wrap this around my hand about five or six times. And then I'm gonna leave an extra tail. So let me pull this off. Then I have the basic look of a bow. So I'm gonna cut an extra piece of jute, tie it around the center. Make sure you cut a, a plenty of um, length of jute, because we're gonna use it to tie it onto the frame as well. So just kind of wrap the center of the bow a few times. Tie a knot. So here's basically a simple jute bow. And then I'm gonna lift up this jute that I already tied onto the bottom here. And I'm gonna use some of this jute, extra jute, to tie it on. touch to your frame. inspired you if it did give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below what would you put in yours like if you make your own what would you put in there because they can be used for so many different things and make sure you hit the subscribe button I do DIY tutorials every Monday Wednesday and Friday and hit that bell so that you don't miss whenever I do post those videos I'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>